All right, this video is going to be short and sweet. It's going to be 25 songs that I've listened to the most in the month of August. Song number one, Hellblazer by Savage Messiah. You need to check that out. If you like Metallica, Megadeth, Iced Earth, Testament, you're going to like these guys. Not to mention that the mix and the guitar solo is fucking awesome in this song. Number two, I have Allegiance by Testament. Dave Lombardo on drums, Eric Peterson just absolutely kicking ass, and Chuck Billy at his best, I think. Number three, I have The Long Road by Andy James. It's off that album CSIO. Uh, it's like a melodic song starting off ballad -y, and then it goes into his absolute insane shred work and incredible phrasing. It's kind of like a exotic uh, guitar work like Marty Friedman. Sitting at number four, I have Eye to Eye by Mystic Prophecy. Uh, they're a German band. Uh, they've been putting up CDs probably every two to three years at minimum. The vocals are fucking awesome in this song too. Number five, I have Lay It Down by Rat, old hair metal band. Uh, it's a band that I really haven't gotten into before. And then recently, um, Dan Vask and E-Rock uh, did a cover of it and I loved it. And um, so that got me back into listening to the original and it, and it is a great, uh, great song. Number six, I have Horoscope by Overkill. This is just quintessential Overkill. Bobby Blitz sounding fucking evil as hell in it. Um, and I listen to the song just for the outro. My favorite part of Horoscope is the part where the two guitars are doing um, separate separate parts in unison with each other. It's fucking awesome. Number seven, I have Mocked Kampf by Arch Enemy. And this song starts off with a epic drum intro by Daniel Erlinson. And then it goes into this incredible Swedish melodic death metal song. <laughs> it's just like... I don't know how else to explain it, but it's you need to give that a listen if you haven't ever already, especially if you're a drummer. Number eight, I have Head First by Stryker, and they're a Canadian metal band. Um, they kind of sound like eight, like '80s metal, like a mixture of like heavy metal and hair metal. Um, but uh, yeah, if you haven't heard them, definitely give them a listen. Number nine is Forty Four Minutes by Megadeth off of the album Endgame, and. Uh, What's not to like about this song? The, the chorus sounds great. And then the, the guitar solo by Chris Broderick is up there in my top five favorite Megadeth solos. Number 10 is Red Fog by Orbit Culture. And um, if you haven't heard them, um, they're a Swedish band. I think they're considered melodic death metal, maybe progressive melodic death metal. I don't know, but they're really, really good. And uh, what caught my ear was uh, last year I was listening, it was actually this song, Red Fog. And uh, the, you could just tell that the front man, you, he loves James Hetfield because he sounds like him. And I love James Hetfield myself, so. Number 11, I have Conquered Malevolence by Blood Red Throne. This song just came out recently. They're a Norwegian death metal band. And they remind me of if you were to take um, Pantera and Cannibal Corpse and fuse them together, this is what you would get. Number 12, I have Band From Heaven by Children of Bodom. And uh, this song, I love solely for the intro. It is just so epic. The guitar solo of this is really great by Alexi Leho too, but the intro itself is just, um, I don't know, it, it's like almost out of place in this album. Number 13, I have What Turns the Wheel by Solution 45. When you, hear, when you put this song on and you hear the vocals, you'll understand why this is on the list. The guy is a damn beast at singing. Number 14, I have Harvester of Sorrow by Metallica. Always been one of my favorites. Uh, certainly a... A heavy hitter off of Injustice for All. Not that any of them aren't heavy hitters, but this one's been on my playlist a lot this month. Number 15 is Between Heaven and Hell by Firewind, the live version from 2008. I think it was performed in Greece. And um, it's got like uh, Apollo Papathanasio in it. And, uh, you know, of course, Gus G, you know, he's the leader of Firewind. But um, the, that whole live album is fucking awesome. If you haven't listened to it, go check that out as well. Number 16 is a classic by Pantera, uh, the song Heresy. Um, I can remember listening to that with my best friend back in like 2006 and just being in awe with how close Dime and Vinny were able to play together. And uh, I mean, they truly were an amazing fucking duo. And uh, this song really showcases their abilities together and what made them so special. Number 17 is Diabolus by Primal Fear. This song I love just because of the intro. The intro is so damn evil. The guitar riff, that fat ass fucking guitar riff that comes in with it. Primal Fear is a really good band too, and they've been around for a while. A lot of people say that they're like a little brother to Judas Priest. Number 18, I have Serenity Painted Death by Opeth. This is off their uh, album Still Life. Such a great song. 
the singing in the middle it's like this it's like a musical journey you don't know where it's going and in the middle it leads you to this like beautiful place with this great riff and michael singing definitely one of my most favored uh opad songs Number 19 is Holographic Universe by Scar Symmetry. Put this song on and just get to the chorus. You'll understand why. Number 20 is Caught Somewhere in Time by Iron Maiden. Uh, that guitar harmony at the beginning makes this fucking song. Number 21, I have The End of Innocence by Symphony X. This was the song that I heard a few years ago that made me really appreciate the talent in this guy's singing ability. They're a progressive metal band. And um, this guy really, really showcases his abilities in this song. Number 22 is In War and Pieces by Sodom. They're a German thrash metal band. And uh, this song is just absolute brutal thrash. My best friend and I listened to this. It was almost like our theme song back in like 2011 or 2012. We listened to this song on repeat. Uh, the song is very catchy and um, it's just very raw sounding. It's everything you'd want from a good thrash metal song. Number 23, I have Hail to the Whores by Creator, another German thrash metal band. This song is probably, if you're trying to get into Creator, this is where I'd recommend starting. Great song. Number 24 is Ravenwing by Iced Earth. I believe that this song showcases the musician ability of every single musician in this song. Uh, the drumming is great. The bass playing is so tight. The guitar work is amazing. And Stu Block's performance uh, singing in this song is probably my favorite of all of his Ice Thirst appearances. And finally, at number 25, I have Crystal Mountain by Death. I have to be honest, Death is a band I kind of overlooked for many years and just recently opened my eyes to them and realized how amazing they are. Um, I love this song. Now that you listen to the video, saw my 25 most listened to songs for the month of August. Drop some of yours down below. I'd like to know what you guys are listening to or if any of the ones I put up here uh, meet your list as well. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, we're getting close to 1,000 subscribers. It'd be awesome if before the year's end, we could be at 1,000 subscribers. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and hope you all have a good one.